Okay, there's a new uh, circuit going around uh, on a couple of forums with a lot of people interested in it that I wanted to try out and uh, see what's going on here. Uh, the gentleman is goes by the name of IB Pointless Two <laughs> on YouTube and also at the forums, and he's named this the Captret, and it's an extremely simple way to make an LED go on very very low amperage. And what you do is you take a nine volt battery or two nine volt batteries, you run it into a capacitor in a strange way. You take the top off of an electrolytic capacitor right there, and you run the uh, negative lead of the battery onto the top of that. And then you come off the bottom. Uh, plus side of the battery goes into the bottom of the electrolytic cap and then over to an LED and the negative of the LED goes back to the cap. Now normally when you put a cap in a series circuit it fills up. As soon as it fills up the current stops and that's the end of the story. LED goes out da da da. But this way the current actually flows through this and the LED goes on and on and on and especially if you have a fairly dead battery and we're not quite sure exactly what's going on but Dr. Stifler is involved in this he seems to think this is kind of acting like his S-gate uh, three plate capacitor basically so I worked and worked and worked on it today and uh, I got my little uh, dual LED setup going here and uh, I am drawing, um, you see that or not, that is uh, 30, well, this is hard to get the light right here, 36 microamps. That's microamps, folks, 37 microamps. There's the uh, voltage on the battery right there, 5.89. That's a very depleted 9 volt battery. And I've got light. I've got light going on. Now I'm doing this differently. I worked and worked and worked with this several, several different ways. And my first thought was all that's happening here is you've got a very high resistance going through something. And it's just going to be the same thing as if you put like a mega ohm resistor in there and, and away should go. And I tried that and it did do that. But it doesn't do it like that. And I've changed this around so this is just going through the negative part of the capacitor and then out the top of the can and then through the LEDs and back. So I've modified his circuit. And I've also got this on an AV plug and the AV plug is going to an earth ground. Now this is all Dr. Stifler. And Dr. Stifler got involved with this and said that he's already done this uh, way back. And I looked at his research and replicated what he had done today. Uh, using my uh, old uh, um, SEC 15-3 electrolytic capacitor hooked up to an earth ground and did some measurements and calculations. This is phenomenal what's going on here. And if you go to his, uh, his site and look this up, uh, he has done phenomenal work with that. And that's why he's interested in this, I think. But anyway, I, I changed this around a tad here. And um, I'll show you what this looks like on my setup. What's here on mine is I'm going into the uh, negative part of the electrolytic cap. That's a uh, 47 microfarad, um, 25 volt uh, electrolytic cap coming out of the can part of it, the bare metal can, into the LED uh, in parallel to an AV plug to earth ground. And that's how I'm doing this. And like I say, I tried this all different kinds of ways, and it does work a number of different kinds of ways. But the uh, the way he is doing it is the initial way right there. And then, like I say, I've modified this in such a way that I'm just going through one leg of the cap, the negative leg, in and then out the top over to the uh, LEDs in a parallel with an AV plug to earth ground. And uh, that's where I'm getting this um, very low very very low amp draw 41 microamps here again this is not uh, this is not milliamps this is microamps folks and at 42 microamps those LEDs are going to run for a long 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 time until that battery goes completely dead because remember, this is depleted now, and it doesn't want to stay at 5 volts. These alkaline batteries, uh, they're built to run at 9 volts or so, and when they go dead, 
they're really trying to recover until they start leaking. And I think one of the reasons this circuit works is because he's using depleted batteries that are really trying to bounce back. And he has said that if you let these run for a long time, they actually climb back in voltage. Now I'm going to disconnect this and you'll see what the standing voltage is unloaded on this. This is the standing voltage on the battery unloaded. Do that again. Yeah. 5.994 unloaded. Now I'm going to load it up. You see the amp draw is, is zero now. I'll put the load back on it. And there's the, uh, there's the loaded battery again. And there's my LEDs on. Now these aren't on full bright. If I use a regular 9 volt battery, these just come on super, super, super bright. But anyway, this is quite something. I'd go over to uh, his uh, channel, IB Pointless 2 and uh, see what he's doing and then it's also being discussed on the overunity.com uh, forum and also the energeticforum.com forum and look for the captret thread. A lot of people are working on this. It's causing a lot of interest as to why this is doing what it's doing. Thanks for watching.